What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nonfiction, and this is Ready to Say Geek, and we have a brand new reaction for you guys. And yes, you see the title, Captain America, Brave New World, coming in theaters February 14, 2025. First of all, thanks for doing it during Black History Month. I appreciate you for that. Pretty awesome. I'm excited to watch this movie. I'm actually wa excited to watch this teaser trailer. I've seen people talking about it throughout the day, and people that I trust their, their takes, and I trust their honesty of how they look at Marvel and DC movies. I feel good about this trailer already, and I haven't even watched it yet. <laughs> I've stayed off of Twitter. I mean, for the most part, Instagram. I've seen people talk about it, but no, I haven't seen no, um, I haven't really seen no leaks. I do know Red Hawk. I already know that. I, already, I knew that beforehand. That was, that's not new to me. But regardless of that, let's get the trailer up and let's get into it. And question to you guys, are you excited for Deadpool Wolverine? Because I'm freaking excited. But let's get to this. Appreciate you guys. Let's get it. Oh, I'm actually kind of nervous because I want it to be so good. I want it to be good so he can continue its own... <coughs> his own story, his own legacy. You know what I'm saying? But let's get it. Oh yeah, Harrison Ford. Wilson. Thanks for I like, coming I like that. I thank you for the invite, sir. The two, the I dynamic two people. I'm still getting used to the new look. Sam Listen and Captain America. Wants to us or lose the election. You and I, I have I think, always agreed in the past. I think Harrison Ford's gonna do a great job. Such a fan, been a fan of his since the beginning. I think he'll be perfect. But I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. And if we disagree on how to manage this situation, <laughs> then what happens? Work with me, Sam. We'll show the world a better way forward. I see Isaiah. I see the new... Okay, 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 okay. I see we... Sir, your inner circle has been compromised. Either you can't see that, or you don't want to. What if it's a trap? Global power <laughs> Let's go. You're just a pawn. You may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. Damn right. Ooh, oh, I like that suit. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I, like I said, I, I already knew he was going to be in the movie. I knew that a while back, but hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, I mean, the fact that we get. Harrison Ford has taken over for Ross. Rest in peace. I'm glad that they that Harrison Ford agreed to do this. I wasn't sure if he was going to do that. I was. I kind of figured he might have been done with movies after his last affair because he kind of talked about not doing certain characters or not doing certain style of characters anymore. But he did say if the if stories, you know, if the scripts were good, he was down to do them. So I'm assuming that this script is good. Um, he said, uh, "Lose the mustache or lose the election." Yeah, I love how they did that. Just like a quick little nod to. The change, you know what I'm saying? And which I'm okay with. I'm totally okay with. As you know, we see that them talking about possibly making Captain America officially like a, a, a military position, which that's what we don't want. If you've ever read any of the comics, they, you know, have done this or tried to do this off and on throughout the history of Captain America, and it never really works out the way we as the, the reader wanted to work out. It's always a skewed towards the military side and it's it's not what we want it's not what we want at all now we already see there's a lot of chaotic stuff going on i'm curious about what this scene is they wouldn't show this for no reason this not it's, this is not a throwaway clip this is a person this scene means something and then of course there's an ambush of some sort maybe you on, on ross and then we get into this scene where he's obviously talking to the joint chief staff people with political power people with business power billionaires it looks like and we go to this moment here i forgot the gentleman's name but we knew he's coming back from the tv show we all, if you didn't know now you know but it was obvious he was going to come back and play you know the sidekick to captain america we knew that already especially because he gave him the old wings um but having isaiah there 
and Isaiah going after the president. Could this still be something connected to the last TV show? Could it be something dealing with that where this is he's not him and he's somebody else? Could, is that a thing? Maybe I'm overthinking it, but we know somebody that may have the answer. We know somebody that may have the answer because the fact that he goes after him. But also, does this mean that we get his grandson by the end of the movie for the West Coast Avengers? They go after Isaiah, the military do the police, go after Isaiah, shoot at him, hits his grandson, grandson needs blood, gets it from Isaiah, and he changes. I hope we get that moment. Now, I don't want to see nobody get hurt, but I hope we get that moment so he can have his change and be a part of the, the larger story. And then this looks like a place like where they had Bucky at, but less sophisticated and less Cold War warish. <laughs> guess you can say. But now. Global power is shifting. You're just a pawn. You may be Captain America. But you're not Steve Rogers. What is going on? I'm not. So is that suit he has on different than what we seen a few minutes ago? Or that's the same suit? Oh my god. I just here we can see the different guy on them. And that's really, I'm excited to see that they, they went here. I'm very excited to see they went here. This has been a discussion for years, if we were going to get this version of Ross. And because they're doing the President Ross arc goes to this phase, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm excited. I can't wait to see it. Um, You guys let me know what your thoughts are. Are you excited? Did this kind of hype you up? Did this get you to the point where you're like, if we can, can we get back to what we're good, good with? You know what I'm saying? Can we get back to the old days? And not saying we got to bring the trilogy back, I, even though I know they're coming back. Just saying we don't have to. We got to bring that style of writing back. If we can bring that style of writing back, then I'm excited. Because we have good actors. We have good characters. Let's just bring the stories back. Just the, those types of stories. And I think I think the MCU can revitalize itself. <clears throat> it definitely takes take has taken its, uh, its tumbles, its falls. But still have had good stories here and there. It's just, it hasn't been as consistent on the same level as it was before, but, but it's okay though, because I'm still here for it. So everything looks interesting. I'm glad to kind of get back into the, to the comic book world again. My name is Nonfiction. This is Ready Set Geek. Hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, noon, wherever you are in the world today. This has been a really good trailer. It didn't feel like a, a teaser. It felt like it, felt like it was longer because you, you feel like you got a lot of information in a short amount of time, but... It doesn't feel like it spoils anything because what we've seen so far, we've already known about. We already knew John Carl was going to be in it. We already knew um, Harrison Ford was going to be Ross. We already knew that Red Hulk was coming. We already knew that Isaiah was coming back. They already told us that. We knew the young kid was going to be playing a sidekick. We knew that already. We could tell that from the storyline. It's just, what else What else are we going to find out in the next series of trailers? So it's, like I said, it's coming to theaters February 14th, 2025. We'll probably either get another teaser uh, around Deadpool time, or we'll probably get an official trailer to in the opening for Deadpool. But regardless, appreciate you, love you. Catch you next one, y'all. If you made it to this point in the video, drop a green heart in the comments. Peace out.